Italy have announced their Junior Eurovision entry for 2016. It's Famiglia Bossia and the song is called Cara Mama slash Dear Mum. <laughs> bilingual with Italian and English and the singer and song, song was announced at the same time. <laughs> Emily, what are your first thoughts on the Italian entry this year? Um, first of all, I think it's a really beautiful ballad as Italy seems to do well with um, in normal Eurovision um, and just Italy in general, I suppose, are quite good at their opera and ballads. So um, it's, I think they definitely made the right choice with the singer. Um, she was in one of the Italian contests over there. Um, I don't know. I can't remember how well she did, but um, she's clearly a really good singer. Um, and I think personally, I think it is the best Italian entry in the contest since they um, they first came into it in 2014 and even won in 2014, but I think this is even better. Um, just because it, it's so nice. It's nice that she's singing about her mum. So, the song itself is so well produced, and I think just the Italian language just sounds really nice as a ballad anyway. So, yeah, first impressions. I just really like the song. <laughs> Well, this is becoming a running trend with us two in Italy because I I disagree. I mean, the message is sweet. She can sing absolutely fine. The melody, that's where you lose me. I find this pretty bland and repetitive, to be honest. I mean, it's just kind of there and stays there for the whole three. It, does, it just doesn't change or anything. It's a lot like how I feel about Australia. I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm expecting something to happen, the song ends, and I'm just left feeling a bit meh, for lack of better words. And a lot like Francesca's entry into Stockholm this year, I don't feel the English is necessary. I, f I just don't know why Issy think they need to do dual language songs at the minute, because they just don't seem to work for them, in my opinion, but yeah, at the minute, a little let down. I mean, you know, it, it's sweet, it's, pres it's a precious song, but it, it's not for me <laughs> at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, sorry Emily. <laughs> As you have just stated, if they normally do well with ballady sort of songs like this, do you think this is going to do them well in Malta because it's a complete jury vote, or do you think it might not? Um, yeah, I, th I think it will do quite well. Um... I can't even predict whereabouts it'll um, end up, but I should imagine the juries will like it because it is quite inoffensive. It's it's nice. Um, it's about her mum, so there's nothing like wrong with the lyrics or anything. Um, and going back to what you said about the English part, personally, I, I quite enjoy it because obviously I didn't know what the song was really about before until. Um, you hear the English part and it, it gets um, like more powerful and I don't know I, I, I got goosebumps by the end of the song so there we go but yeah middle of the road finish for me to be honest you know it's like I said it's inoffensive it's fine but it just doesn't stand out and but yeah the juries are probably gonna like it I, I don't, it's probably gonna get an equal reception from both jur sets of juries because you know the kids will think, oh, it's sweet, it's about their parents making, about their mums and whatnot, and then the adult, I, I don't know, like, I just see this as completely middle of the road, 9th through 12th placing for Italy to be honest this year. I don't think it's going to win. Uh, I just, and, Yeah, I just think it's just such a strong year this year so far that I don't see it winning or challenging. I just, I just don't know how to feel about this song. And to round it out, what is your score out of 10 for Kala Mama? Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, just because it, it's nice. Um, not my favourite, but also not the worst either. Um, yeah, 
I, I think it's probably in my top five right now. So yeah, eight out of ten. Well, mine has to be a six because yeah, it's fine. It's inoffensive, but I'm not going to remember it after the contest or after the, after the, after the performance. It's fine. But yeah, it's not standing out for good or bad reasons, so it gets a not good, not bad score out of 10 in the end. <laughs> so that is what we think of Italy's entry for Junior Eurovision 2016. Are you loving it? Hating it? Let us know your thoughts. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and the Eurotrip.com where blogs are posted every single week. And make sure you are watching Junior Eurovision 2016 in Valletta Malta on November the 20th.